to close then, where do you think the impact of your book is going to be? What, what do you hope Living by Inches will do for Civil War history? What, what are you hoping will be the big impact? Well, it's a, it's a dangerous question to answer. Uh, I, I hope that you know, my work, along with a lot of other scholars, that, that gets at the more humanizing aspects mm -hmm. of, of the experience of the Civil War, uh, and, and history more, more, more generally. I think this book is a contribution to that. And I think sensory history, you know, I have five senses more or less, you have five senses more or less, right? People in the past uh, were the same way. And that is a way of, 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 of humanizing um, the, 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 the past. Uh, and it's also a way of, uh, it connects us to the past, it also separates us from the past, right? Because we don't experience the, uh, you know, the, the smells of our environment in the same way that, uh, that someone in, in Andersonville in 1864 would. Um, and so there's, there's the possibility of doing good history in that, 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 that studies the, you know, the human experiences. Um, so that's, that's what I hope this will contribute to. And what's the next project? <laughs> Uh, well, I'm currently finishing a special history study of Andersonville, of African Americans at Andersonville. Um, that takes us from uh, the from slavery up through the Civil War, sesquicentennial. I'm working on this with some colleagues at, uh, at the University of West Georgia, um, and that will be out relatively shortly. It's it's, it's for the Park Service, so it's a, it's an internal document, um, and I don't have a kind of a, a set second book-length project at this point. I, I'm, so much of my writing now is in public history, and, right. and it's, it's very, you know, piece by piece. So I, I, I do a, a local series with, with the America's Times Reporter, uh, mm -hmm. where I write, you know, 1,500 word essays on, mm -hmm. you know, what a place or what a local story, you know, tells us about not just the local experience, but the national and the international um, right. um, past. And, and, and as a public historian, you know, as someone who's hired to teach public history, right. that it has, you know, it may be a, a, a maybe has more significance, uh, you know, than than me trying to publish the next book. Right. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking I'm taking it very very slowly in, in things like the next book project. Right. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>